Over the weekend, the Mid-South saw storms and tornado warnings, which affected multiple counties. And as we brace for the possibility of more severe weather this coming weekend, data reveals a significant shift in tornado activity. The area once known as Tornado Alley in the Midwest, particularly in states like Oklahoma and Kansas, is now expanding into the South. ABC 24's Lauren Terman spoke with local experts about this trend. So Lauren, what did they share? That's right, Pepper, and it's important for everyone to know that this shift has been decades in the making, and in fact, data stretches back to 1950. And as a result, the Mid-South and its neighboring regions have become more susceptible to tornado development. As severe weather intensifies in the Mid-South, recent studies show that as the Earth warms, the traditionally recognized Tornado Alley is experiencing a decrease in tornado activity, while the Mid-South sees an increase. Something that does stick out, I will say, with the Mid-South is that we can get tornadoes in really any type of severe weather throughout the year. So while they're most common in our spring months, um, you can still get them over the summer. And we even do see kind of a secondary season a lot of time in the fall. National Weather Service Memphis lead meteorologist Caroline Adcox says that with this shift towards the eastern region of the U.S., states like Mississippi, Tennessee, and Arkansas will all feel the impact. We kind of just get all of these storm ingredients that are able to come together. Um, some of those are going to be our cold fronts. So, you know, the days that are really, really warm and then the next day it's pretty cold. That gives our atmosphere a kind of the push that it needs to get these thunderstorms. From 1995 to 2024, the National Weather Service reports that about 675 tornadoes touched down in middle and western Tennessee, or about 24 per year. The Memphis metro area now faces at least a 25% higher risk of tornado threats, including in Mississippi, which Ben McMinn with DeSoto County EMA says took a large hit. Just this year alone, um, we've seen 164 severe thunderstorm warnings issued in the state of Mississippi, and we've seen 104 uh, tornado warnings issued in the state of Mississippi, and that was through last Sunday. So how can you prepare as the tornado risk for this area gradually rise? Making sure you're staying up to date with the latest forecast information from reliable sources, whether that be the National Weather Service or your local TV meteorologist. And again, this is something that has been happening for decades. So while we have a greater tornado risk for most people, this is not a change that you will see instantly. And many of Tennessee's counties, including Shelby, also have similar shelter plans for DeSoto County and for severe conditions as well. In the studio, I'm Lauren Terman.